G'day guys, what's going on? It's Cody here coming to you guys with another video. I'm sitting out the front of a salvo, so just rocked up, pulled out the camera, starting today's vlog right now. So again, today's video is going to be thrifting related, buying stuff to sell on eBay, on Etsy, and some on Amazon as well. But let's get into this salvos and see what we find. So this pretty cool Dodgers jacket here. A nice small, but I don't believe it's vintage, so I'm going to pass. They want a bit too much for this one as well, but it's a pretty cool jacket. I got some pretty cool vintage pieces. Let me get out here and show you guys what I got. Hey there. How's it going? Yeah. Great. Thank you Thank for that. You. See ya. Oh, she's a bit chilly outside. i got to get my jacket on. I was freezing inside that thrift. But, uh, yeah, I'm just here at the car. Let me show you guys. Got some pretty sick vintage pieces and the Harley Davidson shirt as well. I'll quickly show you that. I'm at the car. Hang on, wait. So I spent a total of $18.70. I got a dollar five off this one, off these three items. So the first one is this pretty sick, ah, uh, the sun's in the way, but this pretty sick Marvin uh, Warner Brothers, I think it's from 1992 t-shirt has a really cool print i looked one up on etsy and there was a similar one that had sort of a yellow instead of green here and that was up for like 50 bucks this one was like a six dollar shirt but it's the acm t-shirt there real vintage piece from 1992 awesome print and it's the same sort of design on the back as well pretty sick t-shirt i like this one next we have this harley davison cafe las vegas t-shirt uh this one's brand new with tags uh they had 625 on this one and I'm not sure how much that'll go for, maybe like 25 bucks or so. Then the last piece is this pretty sick vintage St. Joe's. I think this is St. Joe's uh, Sharks ice hockey or hockey jersey. Vintage, the tag is faded a lot there. It's a size extra large by the looks of it just. But this one, they had 725, has the print, the patch there and the patch there. And on the back, it's just pretty plain. But this does have a little fault here with like a small little rip there. However, I think this one's valued at around 50 bucks or so on Etsy. But I'll have to do a bit more research and just make sure that's the right team. If it is the right team, give me a thumbs up if I've got it right. But I just got to do more research. guys check this out just got out of a few more thrifts and I picked up two items so again we're looking at vintage pieces doing pretty well with the vintage stuff at the moment picked up this Minnesota jacket size extra extra large made in the USA the brand Swingster it's a vintage piece I think it has like a little stain somewhere like maybe here or something but see if we can clean that off in a few marks here and stuff it's like a varsity college jacket I paid $20 for this one, it was pretty expensive. However, I think I might be able to sell it for around 60 plus. I might be selling this on eBay though, but I'm gonna try Etsy as well and see if um, I can do a bit more research on Etsy to see how much I could get for this. And then the other item I picked up, I just realized that it has like rips and stuff at the front of it. It has like little tears here, I didn't even notice that, but it is a Harley Davidson 110 years anniversary shirt by the looks of it. Paid four bucks. It is a nice genuine piece. Not sure what size it is. Um, it says it there somewhere, size extra large. But yeah, this is probably like 20 bucks now because I didn't realize it had these little things going on here. And also on the back, it's an American one, so I think. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, open road Harley Davis. Guys, check this out. I just pulled out the front of a couple of op shops that I'm just about to hit up. And there's this pick me up mowers mowing place. Check this out. They've got like this vintage bike with like some grass cutter thing at the front for the wheel. That thing's sick. So I just got out of the thrift. I picked up the G-Star Raw jacket. Let me quickly show you that. But I also thrifted some food as well. The first time I've ever thrifted food from a thrift store. It was for free. They were giving it away. It's just like heaps of bread they had there. And they're just giving it away because they do like charity stuff. And, and they gave away the charity food that they had for today. And they still have some left over. So they're just giving away loaves of bread for free. So I got like two of these loaves of bread and also i am having lunch good old dave ramsey dr ramsey i don't know why i called him that but he is a financial doctor he says you got to live like no one else so then you can later live like no one else and this is what i'm doing right now i'm eating leftover dinner 
so I can save money, save my 10 bucks or so for the day that I would have spent on lunch and put that into my savings account and that's just gonna keep compounding so hopefully I'll save a lot more money like this, doing this, instead of just buying food all the time. But I do have some spaghetti bolognese from last night and I thought it would be perfect if I used some of the bread to dip into there. Free bread, saving money everywhere. It's awesome. Let me show you guys the G-Star Raw jacket. It's nothing special. I paid four bucks for it. It's an extra, extra large G-Star Raw. Also has some cool stuff here on the sleeve, G-Star Raw. And yeah, that's basically all it's got going for it. It's got this tab on the back as well. Maybe like 30 bucks or something if I haven't got freaking bolognese stains all over it. Whoops. Maybe like a $30 jacket there. I was just running short on things to buy from that store and that was basically the only thing they had in there so I just popped on that. I'm starving, I'm gonna get into lunch. Check this out guys, hashtag van life, mouth is full. And I just saw this VW rock up. I wouldn't mind getting one of these buses eventually. Amazing van. I'm just going savage at this bread man, just tearing it. I mean check it out, it's not a bad looking rig, it's the Transporter 2.5, it's one of the older ones but That'd be so much cheaper than a new one. Damn, so I want that thing. Oh, it looks so good. I only made it to like 10 op shops today because I only started thrifting pretty late in the day. Hopefully I'll get to finish the list that I wrote this morning tomorrow and maybe the next day after that. But let's just see how we go. I'm gonna go to a few more before I start heading back home. Gotta get a shipment out as well. I also sold a few things that I'll show you guys that after we go into these few. So I just got out of one of the thrifts there and I picked up a pretty sick Star Trek shirt. I'll have it shown on the screen so you can check that out. 1992, it's the same date as the other shirt that I picked up earlier today. And I also got these uh, footy boots as well. They're Nike ones for seven bucks. They are the total 90s. Have a resale value of about 65 plus, maybe to 80 bucks. Good score. That's it from me everyone, I'm back in the car. I just went to that other thrift store and I got a pool and shark button front long sleeve. I'll have it up on the screen here. Not sure what size it was, I paid five bucks for it. Resale value of about 35 bucks or so. But I'm heading back home right now. It's starting to rain a little bit and then when I get home, I've got some work to do. But yeah, that's basically it. Just listing, sourcing, listing, sourcing. That's basically what my days are at the moment. Just sort of hustling away to try and save up heaps of money. That's all I'm doing. Also, I forgot to show you guys the two other items that I picked up before I left. I made it back, just get, just unpacking everything and getting it all out of the car. One of the items I did pick up was this Kooji lookalike sweater. It has some alright colours with the green and the yellow and the blue here. It's not like real bright and vibrant though. The brand here is called Carlo Alberto Australia. It's a size large. I looked up this brand. The only reason why I looked into getting this one is because it has the Kooji like pattern, the 3D pattern on this one. And it has a resale value of about 50 to 90 dollars i have to do more research to find out exactly its potential this one i paid seven dollars for and also i picked up this australia olympics hat this was from the 2000 olympics however on the tag it says it was made well i don't know if that's when it was made but it says 1989 on there but it was from the 2000 olympics paid five bucks for this hat and it also has signatures on it as well i'm thinking i might keep this for myself on the back has Team Australia. Um, but if these are Olympian signatures, it could increase their value by quite a lot. So this is to be appraised. I still have to look up this one. Um, yeah, I don't even know how much I could sell this for, but I'm probably just gonna keep it for now. So I've just been working away here in the office for a few hours, just been creating the listings for the stuff that I brought today. Let me show you guys what the numbers look like and the profit from what I picked up today, if it all sells for the price that I sell it for, including fees and everything. So these are today's stats. Two, four, six, eight. I picked up 10 items. I paid $71.25 in total. And this is how much I'm gonna sell every item for. And if you can see that number down the bottom, $482.95 in total sales, if it all sells for what it sells for, including the total amount of fees, plus how much I paid, take away the total amount sold for, equals around $339.26. Do have in mind that some of the stuff might sell on an offer, so I might get a little less than that amount, but that's how much profit, roughly, I would have made once everything is done and sold. Right now, the items are here. I'm just gonna work on taking the photos for them. I've traded the listing, just gotta upload the photos and then get those up for sale, and then I'm gonna edit a video and probably go to bed pretty early. It is almost eight o'clock. 
I've been going to bed pretty late, so I want to try and get to sleep pretty early and then get some stuff done tomorrow. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, everyone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give me a big or a small thumbs up, depending how you feel. And also put a comment down below if you have any questions. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.